Information about your marketing activities. For marketing apps which you have installed on your Shopify store can be seen under the marketing menu in the left hand side. Information is divided into overview, campaigns and automations. From the marketing overview page you can see the results from your marketing. Here at the top is a summary of the sales and the sessions that you have from your marketing activities. If we click on sessions we can see a graph of sessions over time which result from your marketing activities and we can also see sales for marketing and marketing cost. Here we can see your recent marketing campaigns you've created and also suggestions for marketing apps. If we click on campaigns we can see campaigns that you have created from your marketing apps. If we click create campaign in the top right hand corner we'll see options for creating a campaign. So for example we can set up an email campaign, a social media campaign using Facebook, Pinterest, Snapchat and Yahoo product ads. Shopify email is automatically installed in every Shopify store. The other campaign types will require you to install apps to run these campaigns. Email marketing is one of the best ways of driving repeat customers to your business and also requiring new customers. If we click on Shopify email, we get the opportunity to send an email campaign. With the Shopify store, you get 2,500 free emails every month. You can either design your own Shopify email or you can use one of their pre-built templates. So let's use a pre-built template. And here when you click on it, you see a preview of the template and you can then select it. You then have the option of editing your email. Starting from the top, the first thing to select is who the email is going to. From within the customer page, you can set subscriber groups. Customers will only show up on an email subscriber list if they have opted to receive emails or you have marked them as someone who's happy to receive emails. So from the customer list, which is in the left hand side under customers, if we click on a customer, we can see their email marketing status on the right hand side. If we edit status, we can tick to that they agree to receive marketing emails. They can of course tick to receive marketing emails during the checkout process. So now in our list of subscribers we see here that we have subscribers here that we can select. So let us click, click new have not purchased yet which is a subscriber group and then when this email is sent then emails will go directly to that subscriber group. Please bear in mind that you need to have permission to email people. You can set a subject. The subject should be concise and to the point and also preview text. This is uh, the text which appears in the preview box of your mail client. You can also change the email that is sent by. This is the account email by default, but you can change this. So here we can change the sender email and the email, it'll show you here how it'll be sent. It'll be the name of the email and then via shopifyemail.com. Emails can be ed edited in this WYSIWYG editor. You can change the order of elements in the email. So you can move them around or you can change the text. Here we can say we can change the tent, the text, the font, the link colors and the justification. You can also change the background down here, so let's just change the background to white. You can see it changed to white there, or we can change to black. And we can change the text size. Here's an image, here's been added the product, but we can change to a different product. And then we have, we can change elements of the style here, so we can change the font and the font size. We can also add sections. So at the moment here, add a new section. We can add text, or we can add a button or an image. Let's add, for example, a, an image. So here it's got a list of different images we can add. Let's just add the logo here. Finally, at the bottom is the email footer. This has to have an unsubscribe link in it and also has to have this copyright link as well. You can choose whether to have the shop address, the phone number, social media icons, colours and the font. So as you can see this is a very easy to use WYSIWYG email editor. You can move around different sections, change images, change text, change text size so you've got the right message to send to your customers. Once you're done you can send a test. You can choose the email the test goes to and you can also review it. Here it'll give us the information who it's from and to and also a preview of the email both in desktop and in mobile. At which point the email can then be scheduled or sent. I'm going to schedule it in the future for next Tuesday. And because we're only sending to two subscribers which is below the number of free emails we have it's not going to cost anything. 
Once the email has been scheduled, you can see details of it here and it will appear. Let's just rename the campaign. Let's give it a name of test campaign. It will then appear here in the on the campaigns page and also you will be able to see it on the overview, overview page. Once the email has been sent, you'll be able to see um, the performance, so the, set, the cost, the sessions and the sales. Finally, the automations tab. Here, this is where you can set the, your marketing automations, for example, abandoned checkout emails, which will automatically go to your, your customers. Other options include things like sending SMSs and also a post purchase offer, which is a pop-up, which shows to your customers once they've purchased something. Automations can be created from the top right hand corner and here you will have see and here you will see the apps which you have installed which enable you to do automation. So here there's a Google Smart Shopping Automation which shows products of interest to customers across Google's network and you'll have to install the app to do that.